welcome to the Media Centre Show Extra. This week I'm going to be showing off Media Centre Markup Language Sample Code that I had Stephen the Talks in the interview on show 79. Uh, but first I thought I'd turn my attention to MC Auction, uh, the eBay application for Media Centre we've talked about on the show before. And uh, let's go into that now. So, go through more programs and MCE auction. Okay, so first it shows the last items that I've viewed, and uh, what I'm going to do is a search for a, a new keyboard. So, I'm going to look for Korg, uh, which is a brand of uh, keyboard manufacturer, and I'll, you'll see I didn't filter it on equipment category so it's showing them all so we've got some they really only do music equipment but you know this this is showing all sorts of different uh, items from different categories and uh, that one looks a good one so I'll use that one let's have a look at that and there uh, we can see the current price and uh, by the way this is on um, eBay UK because you can pick which market you're on and I can bid for that or I can watch that so I'm gonna watch that because I haven't got 440 <laughs> pounds yet okay and I could put place a bid on that and you can see actually when you go into the, the bid field it actually fills the amount in for you so if you're using this with just the remote it's uh, it's pretty handy uh, I'm sat using a laptop but y you can see from the remote you don't even have to type anything in at all so now I can go back to my eBay. So I'm going using the back button here. Go back through my eBay, and I can have a look at uh, items that I'm watching, and you'll see that uh, keyboard showing up on there, and some other stuff that I've been watching as well. And you can have a look at what you've won, lost, what you're bidding on. You can up your bids. There's uh, notifications when you. Uh, auctions are finishing. Uh, check out the show, the interview in the show. I'll include a link for that um, on the show notes. Okay, let's have a look at Media Center Markup Language uh, sample application in the SDK. And as you can see, uh, this is actually the sample application running in Media Center, and it's actually written in Media Center Markup Language itself. And at the left-hand side, there you get a sort of idea of some samples and some different techniques. The the top pane there shows you uh, the output of what it will do and the bottom pane it shows you the code and you can scroll down and actually see the code so you get a good idea of how the uh, the code is written to produce the results so everything you see here is written in media center market language and it just shows you some of the kind of things you can do the text uh, graphics uh, layouts interactions or click buttons and list boxes and those kind of things uh, so let's type in box. this is quite a nice uh, example of a list box uh, where you can scroll using the mouse or using the remote through uh, different options so you can see how you could use this in media center and uh, you've got things like uh, different check boxes and uh, to do animation and you've got kind of sprite animation as well and there's some sort of small sample uh, codes in there, things like uh, Othello, and uh, I quite like this one, which was the uh, alphabet soup, where it uh, sort of draws the letters in over time. And you can see the the code for this it isn't particularly complex, and it's written in Media Center Market language, as Aaron talks about on the show this week. Now let's have a look at the Q sample application. This is again written in Media Center Market language, uh, was demonstrated earlier in the year, and this is a podcast listener for Media Center and first looking at a Channel 9 RSS feed and this one includes video as well as uh, audio so here now we're going to look at a video and what's nice about this is you can see how the video window can move around real time with some nice effects so at first you see it here just playing the video which uh, or you can see it full screen, which you know doesn't look too complicated. We watch how it draws it in here. Th there's no jitter on the video playback as it's moving around, so you can think of some of the interesting applications that you can do with that. And uh, here, going on to the uh, Media Center show feed, uh, I can scroll down through all the various posts, 
and uh, I can listen. I can actually watch last week's Media Center show extra. And again, you'll see the thumbnail video playing. I can click onto that and see the full screen. So it's not so much the application that I want to show you here, but it was more uh, the kind of things that you can do with uh, Vista Media Center using Media Center markup language, as Aaron talked about on the show this week and on the show next week. So that's it for this week's Media Center show extra number two. Uh, there'll be more of these coming in the future. Uh, please keep your comments and feedback coming in. Uh, thanks for all the comments I've had about the show. I will be showing it up on MSN Soapbox as well as YouTube and the WMV download. So the e email address is istixon at gmail.com and uh, don't forget to listen to the show, mediacenter.thepodcastnetwork.com. Bye.